Hello and welcome to another standard video here in the brand new Duskmorn meta game. Today we're taking a look at a blue-white helping hand deck, which is purposefully designed to beat up on all the monored aggro decks that I'm expecting to face on the rank ladder. And one of the more exciting additions out of Duskmorn for this deck is Abhorrent Oculus, a 3-mana 5-5 flyer. As an additional cost to cast it, we do have to exile 6 cards from our graveyard, and then at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep we get to manifest a dread, which will give us a 2-2, which can also maybe flip into another Abhorrent Oculus without needing to exile 6 cards from our graveyard, and that will also help fill the graveyard for future copies. And then one way we can cheat on the exiling 6 cards from our graveyard part is by maybe discarding Oculus with Charred Course, get to draw 2 and then discard, and then on the following turn we could use either Helping Hand to return a creature with mana value 3 or less from our graveyard to the battlefield tapped, or maybe Recommission where it will enter untapped with a plus one plus one counter on it, and then we can start generating 2-2s two each turn, which is quite powerful. And then we can also maybe mill the Oculus with either a card like Prankster or Founding the Third Path on Chapter 2 gets to mill four cards, which is a way of maybe putting Oculus in the graveyard and then reanimating it. Or if we mill enough cards, we can just cast it by exiling six cards from our graveyard, which we can also enable with Founding, Prankster, and cheap Surveil cards or Cantrips. So that's our primary game plan, and then besides Oculus we can also maybe bring back a Monastery Mentor, which is especially powerful if we'll still have a bunch of mana untapped afterwards to start making Monk tokens and potentially enabling Prowess as well. And then our cheap answers to counteract the red aggro decks include lots of 1 mana instants, Elspeth's Smite can deal 3 to an attacking or blocking creature, and exile it as well, so that's great in the face of a Cacophony Scamp or Hardfire Hero which would otherwise deal damage on the way out, and can also prevent the opponent from manifesting dread with her new pump spell or making detective tokens with a Felonious Rage. And then bounce spells are also very versatile and kind of do the same thing. Into the Flood Maw can also maybe bounce the opponent's ley line if we're willing to gift them a fish. And then Ephara's Dispersal we can also cast for a single blue if it targets an attacking creature. And then we get to Surveil 2 as well, so that can also help fill the graveyard and set up some of our graveyard synergies. And then at 1 mana there's Slide of Hand as a cheap cantrip to enable prowess or just to sculpt our hand. And then at 2 mana Founding, often starting from chapter 1, so we can cast another 2 mana spell for free, including the Picklock Prankster's Adventure, milling 4 cards and then putting an instant or sorcery or even fairy from among them into our hand. And then on chapter 2 we get to mill 4 cards, and finally also maybe get back an instant or sorcery from our graveyard that we get to cast right away. So that's another way to maybe access a helping hand to reanimate a 3 drop for just 1 mana. And then curate another instant that lets us fill the graveyard with Surveil. And then we mentioned Chard Course, good to maybe discard some 3 drops from our hand, and can also provide card advantage if we've attacked and then a recommission. And then the mana base also gets to play with a new Flood Farm Verge, which can make white mana initially, so still good for casting an Elspeth Smite on turn 1. And then if we have either a Plains or an Island, or maybe an Archive, which has both basic land types as well, then the Verge will make both colors. Seacrum Coast making both colors initially also very useful, since our curve is relatively low. And then a Darker Waste is still helpful, even though it is a little bit painful. And then four Islands and two Plains, since again the Verge will account for most of the white mana needs in the early turns. So yeah, that's our deck. Now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the draw. We've got a Keeper. Ideally find a way to put Mentor or another 3-drop into our graveyard. And then facing a red-black, at least I didn't have a Ley Line. Could also into the Flood Maw. Yeah, I guess we'll keep it available in case they try and pump up the Scamp a bunch. Otherwise, I'll take one. And then next turn we can debate whether or not to cast a Founding. That opponent is going to pass. I think I still hang on to Flood Maw, just play it slow. And now we can Slide of Hand, keep up into the Flood Maw. Look for a Charter Course, ideally. I guess uh, I'll take another Slide of Hand. And then next turn we can Founding, casting free Slide of Hand, still have Into the Flood Maw available if needed. Monstrous Rage is fine. Anything else? And I'm gonna go to damage, and then I will bounce. Yeah, 
And our opponent's going to replay it. Alright, so I could also cast a Mentor, although it's without any additional tokens. So then it could just die to the Scamp. So I think I prefer Founding with the free Sleight of Hand. Although that being said, if they do take out Mentor, I can Helping Hand it back pretty easily next turn. If I Founding next turn, I get to mill four, and then we can cast Oculus as well. So it's a close call. Maybe prefer Founding and then um, we might find more interaction with a sleight of hand. It's going to be another mentor. Pass a turn. And then hope they don't have lethal here, which is very much possible. Turn inside out. Resolves. Just four damage. That's survivable. They're gonna sacrifice to manifest dread and deal four more damage. They could also proliferate my saga, but that doesn't make a huge difference. So we're at 11. Prankster the draw. Mill four. So I could helping hand get back a prankster. That's not all that exciting. So I think we just go for Oculus. And leaving a creature in the graveyard. And then now we have a blocker. We'll get to manifest dread. Suppose we are going to chapter three here in a second. But letting Dispersal go to the graveyard is fine too. And then we can always get it back with Chapter 3. And our opponent scoops it up. Alright, I'll take it. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hand's got potential. If we find one of our three drops, we can discard it with Charter Course and then bring it back. Founding can keep milling us. And we've got Smite for early interaction so we don't get run over. Opponent is on red. No one drop. And it's going to be a Manifold Mouse. Alright, so Smite doesn't line up great here. Would have preferred to face a Haste creature. But uh, now we have to decide if we want to keep up Smite or potentially go for Founding plus maybe a Prankster. Yeah, the mouse could hit pretty hard. I think I play it safe here. And then we can still use the Prankster at instant speed. So if they don't pump up the Manifold Mouse, I'll just take two. If they Monstrous Rage... And we probably want to interfere. Bane Splitter is fine. Anything else? Might of the Meek. Alright. Seems good enough. Exile your creature. Nice 3 for 1. And Scamp is next. Okay, so now we can Founding casting a free Prankster. And that might find additional interaction. And it could also mill another creature we can helping hand back. Turns out we just found a recommission. So we are vulnerable to the opponent now. But with only two cards in hand, we should be safe. And now we found the dispersal. Mill myself. And we found mentor. Perfect. So helping hand back the mentor. And then I can still Founding, casting a free Charter Course. There's no other creature to recommission. And then we'll still have Dispersal up. And then Mentor could go to the graveyard since we can recommission it back. Although our current Mentor is also somewhat likely to die. 
So I'll ditch the land. Camp attacks. I'll block, maybe baiting out another pump spell. Balloonius Rage. Bounce and response. And that's another two for one, and good enough for a concession. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. We have access to lots of cheap interaction to maybe catch up against aggro, and then founding to cast free spells to start filling the graveyard and uh, either find a win condition or maybe mill a three drop and then have a helping hand to bring them back. Opponent does have the turn one ley line, so they are threatening a turn two kill. So we've got two potential answers. Smite could work out poorly for opponent can pump toughness enough. So double felonious rage means now a smite is the perfect answer. Exile hero, don't take any damage. And uh, could be a little bit risky to tap out for founding here, since their opponent could have more ways to give creatures haste. But uh, I think I still go for founding. Cast either Charter Course or Curate's interesting too. If I had a helping hand, I could Charter Course to discard Mentor. Now I might be casting the Mentor, in which case just going for Curate might be better. And then double recommission, all right. So if I keep one of them, I'll be able to maybe discard Mentor and then eventually bring it back. Although it's going to be for two mana and not one mana. Still fine to keep one of them, I think. So yeah, going for a free chart, of course, and then discard Mentor might have worked out a little bit better. Because the next turn I could bring back Mentor, keep up Dispersal. And our opponent's got slick shot with double rage. So it gets in for a healthy amount. And there's a helping hand. Okay, so mill four, see what we find. Another mentor. So I can helping hands back mentor. And then still chart, of course, to discard another one. I think I prefer keeping up Dispersal, so we may as well recommission Mentor then. And have a way to interact with a Slick Shot. Now, they could still kill me if they just pump it up and then don't attack, but sacrifice it with a uh, Burn Together Adventure. And they might have learned their lesson from the Elspeth Smite. So I could still die here. Slick shot attacks. Yeah, I'll take three. Wait for them to commit more pump spells before we bounce. And founding the draw. I don't think I want to do anything. I guess I could into the Flood Maw. Could even bounce their ley line if I really wanted to. Maybe that's not a bad idea. We'll have to give them a fish. But we'll get a monk token in return. And then I don't think I want to tap out. I'll just keep up dispersal for the opponent's attackers. Even though I could go for founding Cast a free chart, of course, discard Mentor, and then if I draw into white mana, I can helping hand back Mentor. If I draw into blue mana, I'll have Dispersal available. And now without a Leyline in play, we're less likely to die to the Slick Shot. So maybe that's worth it just to start applying more pressure. So yeah, there's nothing to helping hand back right now. And both of my lands awkwardly enter tapped. So still fine to discard a mentor. And then I can surveil. Question is whether I want to attack here. 
Yeah, opponent could jump, take out a token. That's acceptable. And I'll surveil. Sleight of hand seems fine with all the prowess tokens. So a spear is acceptable. And our opponent seems to be a little bit more cautious here. So what's the worst case scenario? Like a double monstrous rage. And then we would certainly die. Although a chump block here is not going to make a difference. Yeah, I mean, I may as well chump. And didn't seem like our opponent had anything. So mill myself. And then I can helping hand back another mentor, no oculus. Before we cast our slide of hands to make more monks. And look for more cheap interaction. Alright, probably take the oculus. Although prankster triggers the monk tokens. So maybe at this point we prefer Prankster, actually. Since we have enough threats in play as is. Attack. And if our opponent takes it, I might have lethal if I trigger Prowess. Yeah, that would be 14 exactly. Is there anything they could have to interact? Not that I can think of. And get back a uh, smite. And our opponent explodes. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. We've got potential dispersal if we're up against aggro. Founding to start filling the graveyard for Oculus. So sign me up. Turn 1 Swamp means I'm not too worried about keeping up dispersal. Opponent's got the duress anyway. And yep, they take Founding. Our Oculus looks a lot worse. We do get to play Archive now. And look for another Founding, pretty much. Charter Course is probably good enough. Gives us a turn to play. Maybe setting up a Helping Hand. Could discard a Mentor for future Helping Hands, or can just start hardcasting 3 drops until our graveyard's full enough for Oculus. In which case, a lane can go. Because our opponent's going to have plenty of removal here. Mentor dies to an opposing cutdown as well. Which they didn't cast. And they're also saving Fabled Passage, maybe, for landfall. So we're gonna see a 4-drop. And a shield roots is a pretty good one. Could bounce it with Into the Flood Maw. I think it's worth taking some damage so I can get another Mentor in play first. And then we can play the tempo game. Assuming there's no board wiping coming. Don't mind casting a 3-mana Dispersal on Shieldred. Glissa is also totally acceptable. And looks like a cut down on Mentor. Alright, so we don't quite get to Snowball as much as I would have liked. Although Helping Hands means we now get a 1-mana Mentor. Get back our 3-drop, cast Dispersal, trigger everything. And if they didn't have a sweeper last turn, they're probably not going to have one now. And then just filling the graveyard for Oculus seems fine. Don't really need another Flood Maw when we have Dispersal already. Hit you for 10. And let's see if they can wipe my board. And our opponent cannot, and they scoop it up. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. 
This hand's not perfect. Can't even uh, cast into the Flood Mon turn one, so we could be dead on turn two. But uh, Founding is a way to enable the Oculus. Could also mill another three drop and then helping hand it back. So I think it's got enough going for it. No ley lines. Better opponent is on the red black aggro deck. Smite was a good draw. So now I don't mind keeping up smites. And then next turn play a tapped archive. Scamp attacks. And a blazing crescendo. Yeah, I'll take the two for one. And then I could technically mill a three drop and helping hand it back. Prankster is good to just cast for free with founding next turn. But I could have technically reanimated it here, just not quite as exciting. But it's got the challenger as a follow up. So we'll stick to the plan. And then hope to mill a 3-mana creature. Alright, I'll take another smite. Although this time our opponent can play around it more easily when they know about it, and with a prowess creature. The alternative would be maybe grab a dispersal. But we already have into the Flood Maw. So at least now they will have to respect another smite. And then next turn I can mill four and cast Abhorrent Oculus. Alright, opponent's gonna play the Bane Splitter before attacking, finding a land. So it's gonna be easy for them to enable Prowess now and get Challenger out of range. Hardfire Heroes next. And attack, so... Opponent cannot cast any pump spells, but I also cannot smite. And we found an untapped land, that's good. So now I can play Oculus with one mana interaction available. Could even get back Monastery Mentor here. So we have some pretty solid options. If I go for Mentor, I get to keep up Smite and into the Flood Maw. Maybe I start with... Mentor just to keep up two interactive spells. And then Founding could also get back another spell from our graveyard next turn. Our opponent attacks. So before blockers, I might want to, let's say, into the Flood Maw, the Challenger. So I have a blocker for Heartfire Hero, forcing them to pump, and then we have Smite. They're gonna Felonious Rage the Heartfire Hero. So in response to the Valiant trigger, we should Smite, and then opponent would need two pump spells to get Heartfire Hero out of range. Plus we still get the blockers. So they already triggered Valiant, so if they were to have a Monstrous Rage in hand, they're not going to get it above 3 Toughness. And then I guess even with a Valiant trigger and a Monster Roll, it would still only be 3 Toughness total. Put now pumping the Challenger, which is about to get bounced, just to trigger Valiant. Alright, I'll take it. So they can replay Challenger, have two cards left in hand, we're still at 13. And I could get back into the Flood Maw and cast it, just to make them redeploy their challenger. Play Oculus and have an army of tokens to overwhelm the opponent. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. I can chart a course, discard either Oculus or Mentor, and turn three get it back. Although we don't have any interactions, so... For opponents on the red deck, they could kill us on turn two. Alright, we get to play a normal game, it seems. No ley lines. But our opponent is on the red with Hardfire Hero. Smite was a good draw. So, I think now I'm in favor of passing with Smite and Curate available. And then if they don't make me Smite, I can just Curate... And look for a third land so I can both charter course and helping hand in one turn. 
Smiting the challenger is tempting, but could also wait for them to commit a pump spell. And still stick to the plan. And then Sea Chrome Coast is going to be the pick. Do we want a fourth land afterwards? So yeah, next turn, Charter Course, Helping Hand. Yeah, I mean, a fourth land could be useful. It would let me play Mentor and then still Smite, for instance, if we discard Oculus first. Sure. So Charter Course... Discarding Oculus. Bring it back and then have a Manifest 2-2 that can get in the way if needed. Probably blocking the Heartfire Hero. And a Dispersal I can let go to the Graveyard to maybe get back with Founding, although it's unlikely to come up. Bone's gonna plot a Slick Shots. That's where Smite will come in handy. And I'll still block Hardfire Hero, forcing them to pump. Felonious Rage, so at least we'll trade for the Hardfire Hero. Taking four on the way out. And another Helping Hand. So there's no additional creature to return. Although we could... Once again, Shard Course discarding Mentor, and then bring it back. And then still have Smite available. Alright, and then Mentor can go. Could have also, I guess, cast Founding with a free Shard Course, just to get that going. Bring back Mentor. But now I can cast Founding with Mentor in play to get an additional Monk token. Gotta play defense. And both of these are great. So now we're looking at maybe Founding eventually getting back a Helping Hand as well. Yeah, this is close. Either one's powerful here. But maybe Oculus we can turn face up for 3 mana. So, Slickshot is kind of the card I want to smite, so I don't really need to block it with Oculus. I might be okay trading for Challenger, other than I'll lose this Oculus, but uh, we should be fine with a Mentor still. And if they go all in on Slickshots, then we could be alright. So, that happens. Any other pump spells? Turn inside out, so... Could still let that resolve, although that would already threaten lethal, so I would have to make a move. So I may as well smite. Thanks all the slick shots, so no manifest dread shenanigans. And our opponent scoops it up. Awesome! On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. We do not have any interaction. So against the reds, we could die on turn two. But we do have Chart of Course, Discard Mentor, Helping Hand it back. If they destroy without exiling, we can bring it back again. So I think that's worth keeping still. Turn one Swamp, and now Oculus. So now we want to find more ways to fill the graveyard, ideally. Might want to discard Oculus and Helping Hand that back instead of Mentor. And a bat's going to have a look. So now if they take Chart of Course, our hand kind of falls apart. They took Mentor. They can still discard the Oculus at least. And reanimate it next turn. Bone's got another bat. But uh, yeah, we've got double helping hands, so they can't really stop that line. They were maybe hoping to take both 3-drops, but didn't account for the Helping Hand reanimation plan. Takes Curate. And Recommission, also pretty good here. Um, Probably still go for Helping Hand. 
Although I guess recommission giving me an untapped creature could be relevant since I can block the bats. Although they know about dispersal so they're probably not attacking with the bats anyway. I think I should still recommission just because it's more expensive. It potentially allows me to helping hand for one mana after making a mentor. And then dispersal can go to the graveyard. Hopefully their removal doesn't exile Oculus, so I can bring it back. That's going to be Gix, because I don't have a great attack. Find another Oculus, three cards in Graveyard at the moment. But uh, yeah, we can just pass with a three mana dispersal at the ready. Even though there's a small chance I could surveil something juicy into the Graveyard and then immediately helping hand it back. Manifest Dread again, and uh, adding more instants and sorceries in the graveyard could be helpful in case we find our founding the third path. Bones playing green as well. And Virtue to take out our face down card. That works. Still no attacks. So now I could consider bouncing the bats so I can play my mentor. And then if they replay bat next turn, it's not a huge concern. And then another Oculus in Graveyard is actually perfect. So I can play mentor, helping hand back another Oculus. Triggering Mentor. And no attacks. Manifest Dread twice. So we're already at the point where our opponent pretty much needs a Sweeper. Here it's interesting whether to let Mentor go to the Graveyard or be able to flip it up. Letting it go to the Graveyard is better for Helping Hands. Sure. And this time, I guess uh, I'll pick the Mentor. So we have options. Another bat. Probably taking the Helping Hand, but uh, yeah, the damage has been done. Goes for Founding. And another bat. I can cast Oculus for 3 mana. So yeah, we can start beating down with our flyers. At least with one of them, maybe leave an extra blocker back so they don't get to snowball card advantage. Could also send in some of my 2-2s two since there's only gigs to block them and I'll be getting 3 per turn. Sure. Hope they don't block the Monastery Mentor face down. So that works. Play another Oculus. Mostly getting rid of lands. And uh, Founding can go. No way to get that one back. Alright, we're all in. So does our opponent have a board wipe for 5 mana? And Gix's command comes to mind. Would leave me with just double Oculus. But then all the bats die as well, so... It's not necessarily a great thing. But that's also why I wanted to get in some damage with my 2-2s two in case there is a board wipe. We may as well get some damage out of them. And now if I find any cantrip, I could flip up my Monastery Mentor. Trigger Prowse a bunch and probably find a way to present lethal. Our opponent seems to have disconnected. So, 
safe to assume they don't have the board wipe. So we get to take our turn, find our fourth Oculus, and yeah, time to turn our team sideways. And our opponent explodes. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. This hand seems a little sketchy. Lots of three drops, only one land, and no real plan to get them back. Do have a dispersal for interaction, but that's about it. Alright, this I can try. And then we have Chart, of course, to maybe discard a three drop and bring it back with Helping Hands. Into the Flood Maw could also bounce the Ley Line. If that's what's necessary. And I could do that now, so I can tap out for Founding without needing to keep up a Bounce Spell for Scamp. Yeah, I think long term I would rather not have to deal with the Ley Line. Alright, so we're really hoping to, at some point, mill a 3-drop. So Helping Hand can go, keep Land and Smite, and then next turn I could mill a 3-drop and uh, Helping Hand the back, and still have Smite available. Could also discard a land, that way if I mill two 3-drops I can Helping Hand both. But if I draw 3-drop now I'll kind of be stuck on two lands for a while. Yeah. Close call. I think I'll go for Helping Hand here, since on Chapter 3 we might want to chart a course and then want to one mana left to still Helping Hand. I recommission the draw, so let's mill those creatures, please. Double Mentor, perfect. So, safest play would be to keep up Smite. And then just recommission a Mentor, and then next turn I can Helping Hand another one. And there's already Helping Hand in Graveyard, so with Chapter 3 we could do that as well. Keep the Helping Hand in hand. So, what's the scariest creature here? Probably Cacophony Scamp? And then we'll see if they pump Scamp or Heartfire Hero. Monstrous Rage to Scamp. That could happen. Yeah, I could react now with these Smites. In case they have a uh, Dreadmoss Ire. We don't want it to pick up additional toughness. And our opponent explodes. Exiling the Scamp means no damage. And that's good enough as we get to rank up to Diamond. So yeah, if these red decks are going to be popular, and I expect them to be in the early weeks, then blue-white is a great way to counter them, as we have access to lots of cheap instant speed interaction that either bounces or exiles, so we don't need to worry about the opponent's creatures actually dying and triggering various effects, and then we've got powerful threats that can quickly stabilize us and take over the game. So this seems like a great deck for the current best of one meta, and it's very adjustable as well, since a lot of the non-creature spells are interchangeable if the meta game were to shift, we can always add more answers like Get Lost if we need to deal with enchantments, or counter spells if we need to deal with powerful non-creature threats as well. So there's a lot of ways to configure the deck, so in best of three the deck should also transition pretty well, although you can expect to face more mid-range and control decks there, as opposed to a lot of mono-red aggro, so then you probably want to swap out some of those cheaper bound spells and Elspeth's Smite with some more reliable removal instead. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day.